who we are. Can you guys get up here? Let's go. You're on there, right? Good. And uh, you've moved. You can skip. I don't think those ships are ever going to do anything over there. It's all about your alternate history. <laughs> I never actually got the Frankish knights into battle. I, I got through the whole phase as the Franks before I could actually upgrade them because I never got as far as the technology that I needed. I think I've probably researched too many lower technologies down the tree. Um, either that and or not built up enough science research as I've gone. I might have been guilty of that too. Right, we have quite a fleet here. These are the cogs. So we have a nice, nice force waiting to go and cause some trouble. Ah, oh, that's going up quite nicely. We can just leave that going. I'm not spending any more with them. I could hire their armies, but it's going to leave me a bit skint, I think. Eyes on the way. In turn. Right, I've got the op option to attach something more to, uh, to Edo, which I could afford to do. Or I can go and enact one of these. Let's take a look at the civics. The independent peoples. So I can reduce the assimilate cost. It's a lot to spend on this though. Yeah, I'll maybe not think about that one. Religious rights. Um, nope, we're past that. Past caring about that. The unbelievers. The press freedom. Cheaper to enact civics. Uh, it's a hell of a lot. If I enact that, then the next one's going to be three grand anyway. So minus 20%, seven and a half. No, seven. No, it's not. It's, not, it's about. Uh, it's not that much. It's not that much. It's not enough. In one of the open devs, you use Phoenicians and Carthag Carthaginians and Norsemen for all their cult specific harbors. And then went to uh, Joson. Oh, is it Joseon? I don't know. I've never heard of those before. I'm not familiar with them. Which had an insane research and harbor bonus. I can see how you can stack it up like that. Do I pick civics based on what I need or role play my faction? Uh, basically on what advantages are going to give me. That's what I've done so far. I could have gone for a, a total role play and gone for the slaves from military conquest because that's that's exactly what I've done. But um, I haven't. And I haven't done that because I've not built any commons quarters either. So it would be fun to role play. I can see how it would be quite easy to do it as well in this. Uh, Gleb Formic, thank you for the follow. I think I'm going to hold off. They start to get very expensive for, for the perceived benefits, but at the same time, and I guess if I pick some of these lower ones, the later ones are going to be more expensive as well. Is that how it works? Each additional Civic then becomes a lot more expensive than the previous one. So unless I see a particular benefit, I've been leaving them, but maybe that's the wrong thing to do. I don't know. Feel free to give me some advice on the, on a strategy for that. Right, let's see. There was an army floating about in the middle here. Let's get back into friendly territory. Right. And now let's upgrade those. That's what I've been waiting for. So, out of interest, it's now made me more powerful. Curious. It seems to give me a different reading. The power against them is 486 versus 245, but against them it's... 170 versus 245. Curious. Not that I'm going to attack, but I'm just curious as to what it was going to be. You pick them based on what you need? Yeah, that's kind of what I've been doing. Or what I think I'm going to get benefit out of. Uh, an idle city, Kerma. It's, it's, it's going to manage. Let's put some effort into, into that. And then we need to save... Oh no, that army's okay. So we can... We, we could go and fight any of these, but we won't, not yet. I feel like I'm, I've hit a bit of a, not a block exactly. Maybe I should just get my armies north and go and trash these guys, see what happens. Which is going to be the safest way through. This is a like a right traffic jam in here. I think I was waiting for the, the upgraded soldiers, wasn't I? So let's... Let's put them at the high ground. If I go and trash the city-state, 
I, I think these will just disappear. So, let's move up there. These are not upgraded. These are. Okay, let's move them in. As long as we keep them all together, they'll all support each other and everything should be fine. That'll do. Who's next? Going north, the other army can't support. It's a bit tight on space around there. We'll try and fit our way through as best we can. I need some cash. Get those other units upgraded. What's um, what's this? This is bad news. I come bearing steam. An inventor engineer ostracized from her own country on account of her religion has come to you offering her scientific expertise. She wishes, wishes to settle in the city of Mykini, where she believes she could work productively. Her pioneering work on the fundamentals of engines could be vital, but the fact she is not a follower of Assyrian's polytheism could make things difficult. What do you say to her? Her research is crucial, but we can't openly welcome her. You'll need to bribe science investing. So I lose 15 money for 10 turns. I can afford that. Um, forces choice, open-minded, civic religions. It forces the choice, uh, open-minded. I Let me just have a look at that. Do I have that? Um, it'll be under religion, right? Is it one of these? Banish unbelief. No, it's not that. It, it is this. Okay. Three influence on territories if they follow the state religion. Oh, well, I can probably do away with that now. So. That would be a nice bonus, actually, to influence. So I, I think I'm going to go with that. Right. Give me that, uh, that option again, please. That's something I enacted ages ago. Learning on cities for 10. And I get 20 science for 10 turns. Is it worth it? Yeah, it is. Let's go for it. You're at the end of an ideology axis? Well, there's something to be said for unswerving dedication to a cause. If you trash a city state, you get a city, so be careful of the city cap. Yeah, something to watch out for. I'm okay at the moment. I could just put these on station, but then I'll forget that they're there, and then at some point I will want them. A job. It's getting a little bit crowded in here. Shall I trash those armies there in a massive battle? Let's get them moved in. Let's see what happens. This is going to be. This is going to be interesting, isn't it? Okay. <laughs> There's more coming there. Well, I have some of the high ground. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Um, am I deploying over there? That wasn't quite uh, expected. This is <laughs> this is going to be such a mess, right? So I, I've I've displaced myself from the high ground because I wasn't paying attention to where that was going to form up. Uh, we want crossbowmen where they can perform some use. Maybe if they're sat at the back, maybe they'll be able to shoot over the top. I don't know. They're on higher ground. The standard pikemen, those warriors aren't going to be much good there. Those guys are going to be no good whatsoever over there. And we've got cavalry versus... Everything's anti-cavalry apart from those archers. Let's bring... Um, let's bring those guys in over there then. My cavalry should be able to move a fair distance and get out of the way. Let's see what happens. It's going to be messy, but let's see what happens anyway. Can these shoot at all? Please tell me no, I can't shoot over the top, so I'm going to have to move... Should be able to do that though, yeah? Maybe not. These crossbows have not worked yeah. out at all like I expected. So mistakes have certainly been made. Oh, what I should have done is he's gone over there. That I think possible. I could have... Yeah, well, okay. Too late. Uh, let's bring on reinforcements though. So... I can bring Karaks into this, but they, sh they won't be... Will they be able to shoot from there? They won't have the range, will they? No. And I don't think the fighting's going to get over there anyway, so... I'll be amazed if it did. Uh, let's see. So, this one... Is this this one? How do we tell? 
Bring in some crossbows. It's brought them in there. Interesting. Uh, I could do with moving them to bring more in. If I move, I can't shoot though, can I? Yeah, I can. Okay, I'm good. Formation. Nice. That seemed quite... Oh, is that it? Oh, I, I thought that was going to drag everything else in as well. Uh, the carrot can, can it can bombard. It's a gunship, uh, so it can bombard if anything was close enough. As I think, I think I used them when I played up to this stage once before. Right, that didn't work out as planned at all. Who have I actually killed there? Nobody's got any movement points left, so. I figured all the other stuff would come in, but I guess there just wasn't room to deploy it. And we've made a mess, so might have sorted that out. We'll force march these other guys up there quickly. Ah, aha, I've spotted something there. Let's attach. Let's attach that place. It says I want to get building on the gold. We want the gold. And my pikemen are finally back. Let's march them up here. I would like to see a massive battle between all this. This would be hilarious. But it uh, doesn't look like the enemy are quite up for it. Yeah, I've blazed through the era far too fast. <laughs> Before I've been able to take advantage of everything fully. Right, let's go... Let's get high ground on this. Let's bring these guys up as well. We have quite an army advancing on uh, Estagom here. Can I not... Um... Is there a reason why I can't attack them? Oh, okay. The game just needed to catch up, that's all. Now, what, what do they have? They have... Well, bits of things everywhere that we can't see. I was wondering whether to put the, the anti-cavalry stuff in the front. As we seem to have lots of anti-cavalry stuff, that seems to be like a good idea. The crossbows can move up there and attack. I've got reinforcements that will come on. Oh, let's just... Shall we just see what happens? Let's just see what happens. Oh, they're all over there? Interesting. Right. What's the what's your range like? Range is good. Let's let's take out some of those archers. Those are the bad guys, right? I haven't got the uh, the the innocence these guys involved in this, have I? Sudden panic. You won't be able to see anything from there, will you? No. Right, if I run some archers through to there, I should be able to shoot something. I'll take those out. Thank you very much. Onward to victory! <laughs> that looks so good. Do I have any more of these? I do, but I don't think there's... If I do that, can I then try... Let's just try that. Cause... Oh, hang on. These will be able to tell me. Let's move. You won't be able to see anything. Oh, you can. Well, we might as well have a free shot before I put Let's troops go. in down here. And the other crossbows. No, they're not crossbows, sorry, are they? There's some up here. Oh! Hidden, sneaky. Sneaky enemies. Dead enemies. Are they? I'm not going to get them, am I? The game seems to be just get glitching ready. out a little bit here. Attack. I guess I could throw something in to kill them off. Or not. Right, let's bring on some reinforcements. What have I got here? I can't tell what I'm bringing in or not. Let's... Uh, click. They're in there. Right, okay. I didn't expect that. I can't get over there. Cause that stops me because it's a river. Right. Can we shoot from here? We can. We can kill them. Nice, bonus kill. 
<laughs> it seems so unfair doing that. It really does. Let's bring on some more so I can move. Yeah, let's, let's pile in. Minus 80. Kill them. Kill them hard. Are you going to do it? Oh, I didn't click on it. I thought the game was glitched. I was waiting for it to go. Uh, what else can we bring in there? kind of like the crossbows. But I do feel like it's time to bring in some proper soldiers. I could go in there. That would just kill them. Let's, let's just walk over those cavalry there. Wow, that was that was kind of brutal. Ah, that's that has defeated my um, reinforcements coming in there. Uh, where have they come in? They've come in at the back, have they? Oh no, I'm sorry. I thought I'd click that. Would bringing oh hang on, I'll bring some cavalry in. I can't bring the cavalry in. They're the only unit of cavalry. I can't bring them in, can I? Shame. I, they're in the way. They would have been great for... Well, they would have run down that. But but anyway, let's bring in uh, crossbows then. If we have to. Oh, happen. I can't do that one? Shame. Let's get a free Two shot arms. then. It would be lovely if that... Uh, if that... If I brought a carrick in. Could it shoot up there? Ha <laughs> ha no. Oh, wait, though, it can do this. If I move up. Of course it can. Come on. Send them to the death. And that's what naval units can do in battle. That's quite good. I like the way that naval units get involved with this. And it is the same map. It's just condensed it down into what looks like a local battlefield. So, yeah, I quite enjoy that. Right, I think that is the end of my turn. Oh, no, wait, I can still move stuff. Uh, let's see, can you actually get in here? They can get in there. Have I got swordsmen that will do that job? No. Go on, then, we'll move in there, and then I can... There's no point attacking uphill. We'll go in there. Seem to be scything down these enemy forces. Can we get there? Can we get we can't get there. For some, whatever reason we can't get into that one, which is a shame. Ready, Go. Go pikes. Oh it's not pikes, it's the samurai. Dude. Well that's knackered this uh, little nation's group of um, bad guys. I'm going to move there and block it in case anything turns up from around the back. I don't think there's much left though, is there? Possibly stuff moving in as reinforcements. I can't see any other way to get at these, so... Uh, let's just stay there, and that will do. Hey, Croxy Gorman, how's it going? I still have available reinforcements, but I'm parked on the reinforcement slot, so as far as I can tell, I can't bring them in. Oh, I maybe could have brought those. Well... We'll see. I, th I think because I was parked here. Maybe I moved stuff off at the end, but uh, it's fine. Yeah, those samurai do. And I do love the look of the, uh, the pole arms they've got here. Can't remember what you call these things. You can use them in uh, Conqueror's Blade. I don't know if you guys have seen that. It's, it's oh, I don't know how to describe it. It's a free-to-play game, and I'm always dubious of free-to-play games due to past experiences with them, but... Uh, um, I know a few people who play it and it looks pretty good. Nagging art, is that the name of the weapon though? Or is, that would make sense actually. I thought that was like the type of samurai they are, but perhaps it's the name of the weapon. Yeah, the Frankish Knights, we'll have to see about bringing those in. Who can you shoot? You can get a finishing move off on there. Well, you might as well. Actually, yeah, you might as well do it. They're going to be stuck at the back, so. Uh, let's see, what else have we got? I don't want them stuck there so they can't attack in. But, um... But you could. 
Actually, can you shoot over there? Assuming I can move these guys out now, of course. Is this, is this the only way to get into there? It seems to be a very long way round. I was hoping to just go across there, but I don't think it's going to give me the, the option. We can't, do that now. can't go that way. Can I not go over the... I can get... Right, I think I need some decent... Uh... Oh, I can go down... Oh, right, hang on. Let's, let's do this. Minus 91. Minus 100. Let's do that. And take the high ground. Also, you can attack Let's down there. And you can't attack down there for some reason. I bet you can from there. Eyes forward. Am I rotating the camera? I'm using Q and E. I can't move it very much. It's very limited. Uh, it moves it about um, probably only about 30 degrees, I think. But it just gives me a little view around some of these cliffs and where, where the paths and roads go. I thought it would be on like middle mouse button. Oh, middle mouse button moves the, the thing around. But it kind of feels opposite to what I'm used to. Um, so just Q and E to, to rotate it. Can we pile in there? Nope. You've already moved. Can we go up there? I, by doing that, I, I feel like I've blocked everything. Let's bring in... Bring in the Frankish knights now. Where do they come in at? I bet they can't move anywhere. I bet I've knackered that, haven't I? Oh no, uh, no, not at all. Oh god. Come on, this is going to be fun. I'm going to go charging down there when it decides. I cannot attack this round. Is that uh... all right? That's unexpected. Nothing else seems to have the movement to get around there. I'm going to have to carry on going down here, I think. Where can you get to? Go! So there's a lot of stuff down here I need to be aware of. That seems to be as far as they can go. Uh, you're stuck at the back. Uh, let's bring in some more troops. What have we got? Bring in those fellas. The good stuff. Well, we can... We can... Oh, right, hang on. Yeah, let's do that. It just seems to be <laughs> struggling to find pathways down here. Now that's happened. Can I bring... Nope, I still can't bring crossbowmen down there. What have we got left? Uh, let's bring in some more. Nope, they're gone. I can bring in... They need upgrading. I must have something better than swordsmen don't really need to bring in more reinforcements, do I? I just need to get stuff down the back where it's useful. Let's go! Do you ever host a multiplayer game? You'd love to join me. Oh, thanks for the offer, Chirpy. I don't have any current plans to, to host multiplayer, but um, I kind of like playing. I kind of like playing these things single player. When you play multiplayer, and this is this is quite true of many strategy games, you very quickly find players, and I would, I would probably do this as well. Um, go quite metagamey with the strategies and it's suddenly like well you've got to go this culture then this build then this unit then this culture then that and then this and you've got to take this religion with that and that's like the only way to be powerful enough to win and compete uh, i'm not saying that's the case with this game but you, you see it in things like hearts of iron 4 and uh and some of the other multiplayer strategy games and uh, i prefer to play the game so they have a bit more flavor so you've got more option over the, the cultures and the options and stuff like when i play hearts of iron I like my World War II games to feel like a World War II game rather than I'm building units of space marines to go and nuke the enemy down as fast as possible. You, you know, that sort of thing. So I don't play a lot of multiplayer stuff unless it's uh, co-op against um, against hard AI and, and things. Then it's quite good fun. I can actually get down here, can't I? I don't want to be sat in a river, though. Have we got any more crossbowmen I can move? They can't get over there. Can I get them around the edges? No, it seems to be it. Can I get those in anywhere? Well, I can bring in more reinforcements anyway, so... I'm just blocking things, though, really. If I can get stuff here... Uh, I might be able to then shoot off this edge down at things, if I can get through there. Let's uh, let's end the round and see what happens, because it's... it's a Oh, they can come up there? 
Ah, oh, okay, I didn't realise that was possible. I guess it is, you can see it there. Multiplayer in this game is fun, but constant disconnection always breaks your flow. I've actually heard a few people say that, uh, hopefully that'll get uh, patched in and fixed pretty quickly. Right, what do they actually have left? Not an awful lot. My horseman could destroy that quite easily. But then they'd, they'll be stuck there. Can these not move? Oh, I can. All right, now I can see stuff. Okay, this is better. For the Empire. It's quite nice, actually, the way vision is blocked and restricted by things. It, it works quite well. Now, I'm surprised I couldn't see them up there with ships on the beach, you know? Maybe if I'd had one there, I could have seen it. What's going to be the best way to kill these off? I don't want Let's any... Go! Oh, okay. We'll just murder them with um, the volley of crossbows. And the horses can probably get down here. Forward. Do we see anything else? That's as far as they can go. Do I have any more crossbows that can move? Nothing that will get to there, eh? Not even them? Nope. Okay, because we seem to be in a bit of a mess. Well, I can... Give us strength. <laughs> I can take that out quite nicely. Can't seem to move anything into there, which is... where I'd kind of like to be, but it's not... Well, it is. It's, given, it's two movement points because it's a river. That's what's holding things up there. Uh, I suppose... I just get some good quality troops and bring these guys down here. I can probably no. annihilate these. Forest block vision, that's why the ship. Ah, that that is a forest. Right, okay. It does actually make sense now you mention it. It just doesn't look like it because the trees are a bit um, 2D. But I can actually see them drawn on now. I just thought they were just rocky shores. But yeah, that does make sense. Oh, let's just throw the uh, pikemen in there. That was a big old battle. I'm assuming that's the end of it now. Nice. An era start. Oh, we could move up. And we might as well. I suppose there's no there's no real penalty. We can still build the other stuff. Oh, but I'd lose the influence bonus. And I'm kind of enjoying that. Yeah, the rivers, they are the bane of all movements. We need something that can get across them a bit faster. We need jet skis. That's what we need. Let's go and see what we've got then, shall we? Uh, we can go to, I mean, it'd be a nice fame multiplier, and I kind of like what we've got, but we'll we'll go up in the world. The Persians, Mighty Works. Oh, that'd be good for the shared project industry. Caravanserai, money per number of trade routes. Interesting. What about influence? Austro-Hungarians. Influence on district, influence on emblematic district. The Oppen House. House. Stability, influence. What are these? Evidence Bureau agents. Are these like police? No, they're gunners. Oh, okay. Ignore hostile games, zones of control. Useful. The British, I did play in my other playthrough, so they will, they will solve the money issues, I think. Oh, and the science would be good as well. And the colonial office will make, I think, a stack of money... And you get red coats, which uh, they're going to be good. They're going to be good gunners, aren't they? I'm tempted to go British and solve the money issues. Enlightened thinking with the French. They get cavalry. Not so excited about those. The Germans... Germans get the U-boat. I don't think naval warfare is an issue in this, this game. Well, not in this game, but this playthrough. So... Austro-Hungarians, Italians and French, your top choices. You like the big science bonuses to the French. Let me just have a quick look at that. It is 10% science. That is quite a nice chunk, isn't it? The exhibition hall. A little bit of influence there. Um, I suppose I still get regular gunners. I seem to be outclassing most stuff I come up to fight anyway. Stability I can do without. More gunners, alpine troops. Oh, was that a cliffs crosser? 
can cross cliffs. Ah, I didn't know it makes sense for what they are. Nice bonus. Mexican banditos. I don't think I'll be the Mexicans. Who else was there? The Russians get the Cossacks. Uh, experience on creating unit per number of attached territories. Siamese. They look industry. The Gatling Elephant. Okay. That sounds amazing. I don't know. Can I make those? That does sound amazing. And that's the floating market. Plus one money per population. And industry. And the Zulus. We've got the Zulus. The MP. Um... I don't know if they're bonus combat strength with attacking stronger units. That seems like an odd choice and an odd combat strength for the era of the game, but uh, I'm sure they'll have some mechanic that makes them still pretty good. Austro-Hungarians and Italians. Yeah, crossing cliffs sounds quite nice. It does. Well, we have to move up from the Japanese, so... Um, I am sorely tempted to go with the British. I really am. Because money... I have been trying to build up money recently. But money's probably easier to build up than it is... Um, than influence is. So, what was the... Where did the Austro-Hungarians go? So, it's just basic influence on district and emblematic district. 